plaintiff, Ariana Ortiz, met the defendant while working together, and they had a fling. Ariana claims their relationship never went anywhere because the defendant is extremely jealous, and she's suing him today for stolen jewelry. Defendant Daniel Hall insists Ariana is crazy, and he has no idea what she's talking about. Start with you. All right, so we met in February of 2018, me and the defendant, Daniel Hall. We ended up hitting it off and it turned into a fling for about a month. Afterwards, I had found out that he is a secret crack cocaine addict. He even lied about his mother passing away to get out of uh, work for a day to do Lord knows what. He started acting really jealous and uh, Tell Just, me some of the things he did to he indicate started, that he was jealous. Okay, so my supervisor and me were talking one night, and he's staring at us the whole time, and I'm wondering why. At the workplace or where? At the workplace. He worked there as well? Yes, he did, and that's where we met at. But um, me and my supervisor were talking, and all of a sudden I hear like a little argument, and I'm like, what's going on? Well, he ended up getting fired because he tried to fight my supervisor because we were talking. That is not true at all. Yes, it is. That is not true. Yes, it is. Go ahead. And, and how did and it end? He got fired that he day? He got fired that night. Okay. I quit. And that's why you got you fired. You quit that night? I quit. That night? It, it is on file fired. saying why you, that I quit. Why'd you quit? I just didn't want to work there anymore. It was, it was that very moment? That it, they were honestly, talking? It, no, it wasn't. It wasn't because of them talking. I know, him, but that's the time no, in which no. you decided you didn't want to work there anymore. Me and him had had prior problems before this. I know, but that was just, the time in yes, which you quit yes, is when yes. that conversation was going yes. on. Yes. All right, it didn't have anything to do with the conversation. It's just no. you remember. <laughs> remember that you intended to quit. <laughs> so while they're talking or kissing or whatever else, you said, huh. I was going, I was going to quit about something else. This ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all going to kiss and whatever, and then baby, we'll meet at the house. But that ain't why I'm quitting. Go ahead. After he had uh, quit, then he had started coming around up to the workplace, which he wasn't allowed up there anymore because of the altercation. Doing what? He would sit in the parking lot and talk to my coworkers about me, wait for me to come out of work. Uh, follow me home because I was walking. He'd follow me like, you want to ride? No, I don't want to ride. You stole my son's jewelry. <laughs> okay, and, that's what we're here for. We'll get to that shortly. Yeah, uh, um, so I, now I started a new job. And why were you walking home, though? How far were you walking? I, I only live about maybe a mile, but I have a, a mile. You walked a mile. What city I, is that? Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Very safe. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were going to say some other city. All right. I, I thought you were going to say Your Honor. New York or something. Then you'd be right on here. Detroit, you're safe. One mile, no problem. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, okay. So this came out of 36th District Court. You all have filed this case yes, there. Yes, See, Your folks, Honor. that's how we get these cases. We remove it from the local court and bring it to us as arbitrators. And our decisions are final, non-appealable. And you're from the court I sat on as a judge for five years, 36th District. Um, where some of my colleagues still love me and some are jealous. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. But Your yes, Honor. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. To TV, <laughs> to TV. He started driving past my house every day. I don't know what he was doing. I'm guessing so. He loves you. How and long were you all dating? It, it, it was a fling. It was nothing more than a fling. Well, you it turned him out. Else. Let me hear from you, sir. <laughs> I turned him out. That. Let me hear from I, you. I, I've got a good friend that lives two doors down from her, and that's why I was on her street. It's not Your Honor, that's her. not he, true. He lived there before her, and he still lives there, and he's going to live there way past okay. her. All right. That's what's the reason background? Why did he drive yeah. past his that's friend's enough, house? ma'am. Let me hear from you, sir. Okay. This whole thing is ridiculous. This whole case is ridiculous. She honestly is just trying to get more money out of what the text message originally said. She originally said it was one one necklace and one I have no ring. idea what you're talking about yet, but I was going to let you explain whether you uh, were fired or whether you quit, whether you were following her around. But if you want to jump right into the issue, we can. I mean... It's so, all right. Just jump right into the issue. He doesn't want to uh, even respond nope. to all those allegations of stalking, of uh, jealousy, of right. quitting his job for being jealous. So we'll let it go. All right. So tell me about the stolen jewelry. Okay, so uh, the day before Easter of 2018, me, the defendant, and my other friend were drinking at my house. Okay, so we were in my bedroom. My friend had told me that she needed to use the bathroom. We had left the room for about five minutes. Whenever we came back, Daniel, 
the defendant seemed a little bit sketchy and he's like I gotta go and so the next day afterwards I go to put my son's jewelry on him and it's nowhere to be found so I call the defendant and he gets very, very Belligerent. like defensive. He's like, I didn't do that. Why would I do that to you? Well, who else would do it? And you're the only one that was left alone in my room. You're the only person that could have did it. So about 10 days pr- after this, I, I keep asking him, I'm on him, you know? And he's like, oh, I saw it at this US gold exchange place. So I'm like, all right. Who says this? The defendant. The defendant. I know it wasn't Hall. actually there. Uh-huh. And I call the place and I, all I do is I'm like, okay, so it was three necklaces, but I explained one and it was a chain with a gold cross. You called the exchange or the yes. pawn shop that he told you yes. you saw it at. Yeah. And so, and, what'd they say? and so I explained one necklace. They're like, hold on, stop there. Who told you that it was here? I said, uh, a friend named Daniel Hall. They're like, hold on. He's the one that sold it to us. I don't believe you. Us. Now I know you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody that stupid in the world. Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. Wouldn't send you. He really did. To the place where. He sent me to the place. And I, I have text <laughs> that messages. They can look it up and see that he's the mm-hmm. one. Yes, your honor. That brought in the stolen items. Crackheads do anything, right? They must have been hired in if you say. And we don't know whether he's a crackhead or not and because have, he didn't want to address it. Go ahead. I have text messages proving that he does cocaine. I have that. Text messages proving that he stole my stuff. Wow. I have text messages. Let me proving let him address it first, sir. Pay what do you want to tell me about the jewelry? I nothing. I there's. I mean, she she's crazy. I, okay, she's say. crazy. That's all he wanted I'm to say. I'm a Latina. Let's see huh? what you have. Okay. Please, I mean, somebody's nice. crazy money. If you got anything that end it to me. What would please me was if you wouldn't have stole from me, this is you, from the jump. Then you say you have money for me, but you drive right past me. And I explained, this is him, I explained to you, I'm sorry everything happened the way it did. I will pay you. Um, And I don't deserve you. And be happy. (laughs) I just want to get my son. Oh, that's you. (laughs) <laughs> I sound imp- I just want to get my son his jewelry back. That's all. I, man, all I been saying, you better bring my jewelry back because mm-hmm. we're going to have a problem. You know, That's kind of nice. Work. That didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. That's Thank why we're you. here That's today, right. Your Honor. <laughs> you did right, That's though. That's why we're we brought here. him here. Yep. We don't want anybody to think that Detroit <laughs> engages in violence, no, and that not. is the prime example. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at <laughs> This is a prime example. She walks one mile to work <laughs> at night. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And how long? How many years? For years and years. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, whatever. I there you go. go. For years and phone. years, she's been walking at night one mile in Detroit, and nothing has ever happened to you, has it? No. Thank you. Judging for the plaintiff, for that alone. No, sir, she's proven her case. You wouldn't even respond. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. I never want to see your face again. Thank you. The judgment was proven, and, well, we all know you steal, so. You saw that, America. Whatever.